What's up guys? My name is Jake. Welcome to Abandon episode 10. Wait, this is the 10th Abandon episode that we made. So right before we start the video, I just want to announce to you all, we started a brand new series not too long ago. It is called Abandoned Adventures, and it is where we actually go to the place and we explore it. It's really cool. Uh, the first episode was freaking creepy, uh, so I suggest you go watch that because it's really cool. We explored a hotel and water park, and we've already filmed like two more episodes, so go watch that. It's really great. Click on the screen right here. And it will take you there, and it will be fun. Also, shout out to these people on Twitter and uh, Instagram. Yeah. So, thank you guys for uh, liking our pages. Anyway, let's get into the video. You guys have been voting for this for quite a while. And today, finally, we will be doing Chernobyl and the nearby city of Pripyat. So, yeah. Oh, also, don't bitch at me on how I say things in this episode because... Uh, I'm American. Right, so the Chernobyl nuclear power facility is located near the city of Pripyat in the country of Ukraine. The construction of the plant and the nearby town of Pripyat to house all the workers and families began in 1970. The first nuclear reactor was completed in 1977, followed by the second in 1978, the third in 1981, and finally the fourth in 1983. At the time of the accident, there were two other reactors under construction, sort of. Uh, the fifth reactor, which was about 70% completed, uh, had an opening date of around 1986. The sixth reactor was planned uh, to be in a new block of the building, and that was set to be open in 1994. First off, let's talk about the now abandoned town of Pripyat. Pripyat was founded on February 4th, 1970, and was the ninth city to have a nuclear power plant in the Soviet Union. Its main function was to house workers and scientists of the power plant up until around 1979, when it was officially proclaimed a city. Access to the city was not restricted, which meant literally anyone could go there. The reason why it wasn't restricted was because before the Chernobyl disaster, nuclear power was actually seen as a really safe power method. Before the disaster, the city of Pripyat had around 49,000 occupants, which is pretty large. Oh, and I should probably mention this too. On September 9th, 1982, an actual partial meltdown occurred in reactor number one. The reactor was put back into service within months, and no public word came out until about the meltdown until seven years later. So, what happened? Well, on April 24th, 1986, at around 1 a.m.-ish, uh, system tests were being conducted on reactor number 4. This caused an unexpected power surge. When the plant attempted an emergency shutdown, the reactor exerted a huge spike in the power output. This led to a reactor vessel rupture, which is not good. After a series of steam explosions, the reactor exposed the graphite moderator of the reactor to air causing an ignition. Basically, reactor number four just blew up. This explosion killed two workers in the plant. The resulting explosions caused a massive leak of radiation into the air, which led to the deaths of around 28 others, mainly first responders. Most of the radiation contaminated Belarus? You know what? I'm just gonna let the computer fill it in for me. Belarus. <laughs> the Ukraine and Russia. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, but this would later have a really big global effects in the years to come. Following the announcement of the disaster, the people of Pripyat were told to leave as the Ukrainian government brought in buses to move everyone. This was done in two days. 49,000 people guys in two days, that is insane. This was made permanent as officials honestly had no idea how bad the contamination was. People working at the plant also really didn't know how serious all of this was. And little did they know that this w this event would change the world forever. So it's been a while since 1986. What's happened and what will happen? Well, since then, immediate areas of the plant, including the town of Pripyat, and some areas in the nearby country of- Oh shit. Belarus, Belarus, uh, computer. Belarus. Thank you. Have been deemed unsafe and off limits to everyone. About 30 to 40 deaths have been completely caused by the plant, and doctors claim that there will be a lot more in the future. This makes sense. I won't go into the different kind of birth defects that all of this radiation caused, but I will say when the plant 
initially blew up, uh, the the residents of the town were actually like tasting um, uh, like a metal taste, and they were having uncontrollable coughs and vomiting and all. It's it was really bad, and people were already exposed to all of this radiation and all of this harmful uh, toxical toxical toxic gases and. Uh, Th this this stuff that they breathe in will have a lot of lasting effects effects on their bodies. As for the plant itself, reactor number four was sealed off and surrounded by 200 cubic meters of concrete. Literally a few metric shit tons. The Ukrainian government also let the remaining reactors run as the country was in a bit of a power deficit. Then, in 1991, a fire broke out in reactor number one. And basically, after that, all of them were taken offline in the later years. An initial structure was built around the plant to act as a shield to stop the radiation leakage. This was mostly referred to as the sarcophagus. This was built fairly quickly as it was extremely needed at the time. And as you can imagine, it was pretty shitty. <laughs> a new, better structure was announced in 2003 and started construction in 2010. You would think it would be done by now, but nope, <laughs> it's, it's been delayed so many times, it's now expected to be completed in 2017. By the way, the original structure built also partially collapsed onto the facility in, in 2013. So that's not good. <laughs> Since 2011 though, the town does offer short and pretty damn cool tours of the abandoned city of Pripyat. The area though is still extremely unsafe and it honestly won't be for quite a while. The areas by the reactors are practically hell on earth. Even though I could talk about Chernobyl for hours because honestly there is so much to talk about, but we do need to wrap this up. So guys, I thank you very much for watching. Uh, that's all for me right now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please let us know how we did on the video. Uh, if you really did like it, you can go ahead and share it with your friends if you think they should see it. Uh, I, it's awesome to talk to you guys. Honestly, guys, it is a pleasure to have this channel and be here with you guys. And uh, like I said, oh no, I didn't say this before. Thank you guys so much for 25,000 subscribers. It's, uh, it's great, and I hope we can get to our ultimate goal of 100,000 subscribers eventually. And uh, yeah, uh, honestly, it's great, guys. Um, like I said, my name is Jake from Brights and Gaming. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and we will see you later. Why do I always turn British when I say later? Oh, cue the intro. <laughs>